Hi everybody and happy Friday. So it's been quite a while since I made a cocktail video. I've just been a very busy boy and haven't had a chance. So I'm back with a bang with a very strong uh, drink with a real kick. We are making a Long Island iced tea and here is what you need. Uh, orange liqueur, I've got, uh, got Cointreau here. Some vodka, I've got Grey Goose because my favourite vodka. Um, I have some gin here, Bombay Sapphire and I've got some light rum in the form of uh, Clement here. Um, I also have a lemon and an orange. You need some sugar syrup or agave syrup, which I much prefer, and it's a little less sugary. Um, and then some Coca-Cola. You also need some ice and um, a glass, but that's in the fridge and the freezer respectively. Let's do it. A Long Island iced tea is very easy to make, um, but it does pack a real punch. All you need simply is like 15, 20 milliliters of each of your spirits. So I'm gonna start here with the Cointreau, and I'm gonna go for 20 mil, because it has been a long week. So 20 mil of my Cointreau. 20 mil of my vodka. Also 20 mil of my gin here. Twenty mil of my rum as well. You want the same amount of your citrus, the same amount of orange and lemon. So By the way, when it comes to squeezers, um, you're supposed to put them in that way. I only learned that recently. I've always been doing it this way. But it kind of makes sense because you're essentially turning it inside out when you do it this way and getting as much juice out as you can. This lemon's quite big though. Go on, in you get lemon. There we go. There we go. and then the same amount of your orange. Now there's no way my orange is gonna fit in my juicer. So I'm gonna squeeze straight into my jigger here. Also tensing my bicep loads, so I hope it looks really sexy on camera. In it goes, and then one teaspoon of your agave syrup. At this point, you need your ice. So get your ice out. Put a generous helping in your shaker. Like so. Hold on to the rest because you'll need it in a moment. And then we shake. Now, get your glass from the fridge. And fill her up with ice. Grab your strainer. And simply pour your mixture into your glass. Make sure you save some room, because you're gonna top up with Coca-Cola. Do that. Top up the Coke. Now at this point, you can have as much or as little Coke as you want. I like it strong, so I'm not having loads. All the way. Give it a little stir. And the final step is you garnish with a wedge of lemon. And there you have it, one Long Island iced tea, which considering it's got a lot of alcohol in it is remarkably refreshing. I really like it. I had my first one recently 
um, and I'm a big fan now. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.